promise gone wrong number two. Government can increase home ownership. We want more people owning their own home. Some politicians even promised. Our home ownership strategy will not cost the taxpayers one extra cent. It hasn't worked out that way. These experts in the housing bubble point out not only did our policy cost taxpayers billions, it also killed neighborhoods, it's ruined people's lives, it gave people an illusion they could afford something they couldn't afford, rich and poor. I'm told greedy bankers cost the bubble. Government exaggerates rather than minimizes the age-old impulse to greed. The government made it harder for bankers who wanted to do the right thing. Because if a banker stayed with safe loans, he missed out on profit he could make selling lots of high-risk loans to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. If he was making good loans, he might only be earning 8% rather than 20%. Maybe he loses his job as CEO. The most damage was done through the bundling of bad loans at Fannie and Freddie. But some was done by a law that requires banks to lend to disadvantaged people make the goal of affordable housing a goal that is obtainable for all Americans. So Congress told banks, make loans in poor neighborhoods, or we may not let you merge with other banks. Phyllis Saloke runs an advocacy group that uses the law to demand that banks make more loans. We said to banks, you have to make special products that are affordable to low and moderate income people, particularly women and minorities. And any bank merging knows they have to come and talk to us. A bank that wants to merge has to talk to you? They don't want us standing in front of their bank picket. Whether we stand up dressed as a turkey at Thanksgiving and saying this bank's a turkey. Sounds like you're running an extortion racket. Give us money or we'll stop your merger. No, we say lend money. Isn't that kind of like extortion? It's the law. The law gives us the right to do it. Even worse, government pushed mortgages that require down payments of just 3% or less. This chart shows how those loans gradually increased. Having everyone own a home is not the American dream. It's the dream of the National Association of Realtors. The National Association of Realtors wants you to take advantage of the $8,000 first-time homebuyer tax credit. So given all the foreclosures, did government stop subsidizing housing? No. Honey, there's $8,000 in here. We haven't learned the simplest lesson, which is we ought to stop fiddling with the housing market. <laughs>